glass wall. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, Mr. Slater. There's a messenger with a package here for you. All right, sign for it. I think you might want to do that yourself. Why? Who's it from? Your wife. What is it? It is from Kendall. Come on, how's that possible? She must have had him sign it before the... Uh... There's a card. The Red Wings say thanks for always cheering them on. And so does your other favorite team. Team Slater. All my love, Kendall. That's a pretty big surprise. No, it's not. Classic Kendall. What's the occasion? There is no occasion. It's just it. She knew what meant a lot to me. She knew that I would like it. And that it would make me happy. I just wish I knew my wife well enough to know what how uh, would make um what come on now don't Bianca told me you make Kendall very uh, happy ah uh, I love that woman more than anything in my life doesn't mean to make her happy she was missing something Some, I don't know what it was I, I don't know mm -hmm. so I I didn't, uh... Don't, don't do this to yourself, Zach. It's, it, don't... I, uh, I wake up sometimes and I... I look over the other side of the bed and her pillow is there and she... She's a hundred miles away, but I can, I can still smell her perfume. So I get up and I... I go to work, I deal with contractors and... and Architects and painters, and none of it means anything. But you're doing the best that you can. Yep. But I could have done better. Could have taken some time to find out what makes my wife happy. But I didn't. You know, Zach, um, there's something in architecture. It's, it's called a keystone. Okay, and that is a piece in the arch that holds everything else together. It keeps things in the place where they belong. And you and Kendall, you have a beautiful life together. A beautiful marriage, a beautiful family, a home. You are the keystone. You are the keystone that keeps everything together. Can I ask you something? What does that keystone do when the doctor tells him that his wife will never wake up again? I don't know. I don't know either. Everyone told me this specialist was going to fix it, you know, everything was going to be okay, but she didn't. But hey, she's got brain activity and her heart is fixed now, so that's all good. You know, I just keep her on life support for the rest of her days. Feed her through a tube. What do I do with that? And how do I tell my kids that their mother isn't coming home? Okay, Zach, you know what? You need to go to Canada. You need to go to Canada and bring Kendall home like you said you were going to, okay? She needs to be surrounded by friends and family where we can support her. She's going to be at peace. All right? And then we will peace? be here. You mean peace? 
she'll be here with well, what do you you make it sound like she's dying exactly she's not what dying. I meant she's a survivor that's what she does she was in a coma before both her kids were in the hospital Ian spike at the same time and she pulled through because she's a survivor okay, I didn't mean my no okay, it's okay so my dad tried to kill her, and she pulled through. She was there because she's a survivor. Why is it so hard for everyone to understand? She fights I... for things. She fights for us, for our life, for our family, for our kids, okay, because okay, that's okay, what I, we I, need. I, wait, wait, wait. Is that, what, what is going on? It's okay. Zach was just expressing his love for Kendall. Got a meeting. 